Hello everyone, I just got my US visa so I'm going to give an overview of how to apply for the visa. Actually, the US Embassy has already posted a step-by-step -step video on their official channel but that video was like 9 years ago so I thought I might be able to provide an updated version of that. The whole process can actually be split into 4 stages. The first one would be preparing some critical documents. Second one is to open an online application called the S160. Third one is scheduling an interview and the final stage of course is the interview itself. So before we get into the content, there are a little bit of clarification that I need to make. I'm getting this visa because my company headquarters is in US and the company might need me to go over there for some on-site training or business conference, something like that. The schedule is not finalized yet, but my manager just asked me to apply for the visa. So whenever they finalize the schedule, I can just buy the flight ticket anytime. Yeah, fun fact, you are able to apply for the visa even if you don't have a finalized schedule yet. And because the trip is for business purpose, so the visa that I applied is B class. If you are applying the visa for a different purpose, then the flow might be a little bit different, but I believe most of it will still be similar. So coming to the first stage, what do you need to prepare before you open for an application? The first one is definitely your passport with a validity of 6 months after the date of departure. For example, if you are going to the US on the 1st of January, then you want to make sure that your passport will be valid at least until the 1st of June. The second thing you need is the visa photo. And the photo itself is a little bit different than the typical passport photo that you normally see. On the left hand side is the typical passport photo that you normally use and on the right hand side is the actual visa photo that you need. The dimension is 2 inch by 2 inch so it is exactly square in size. The background is white in colors and you will need to remove your glasses as well. How many copies you will need? One is good enough but I would suggest you to get at least two of them just in case if you lose any one of them. We'll also need to ask your photographer to send you the soft copy as well because you will need that later on during the online application. You need to upload the soft copy into that. The third thing you need is the employment letter with your current position and your yearly salary. And the final thing is the official invitation letter from a US based company. And inside the letter should have mentioned the purpose of going to the US, the point of contact in the US in case anything emergency happened to you. Third one is the estimated duration over there and the final one is who will be paying for your expenses during your trip over there. If you have all the documents beforehand, that will save you lots of time during the application and allow you to fill in the accurate information which highly increase the chance of you getting approved. So the next stage, you will need to open an online application called DS160. I'm not sure why they name it as DS160, I tried to google that out but no luck on finding the answer. So if any of you know the answer, please help the comment down below to let me know. What you're going to need to do is to just Google DS160, go to the first result, select your country of application, which in my case is Malaysia, and then enter your passcode, start an application, and there you go, you can just continue to fill out the information as you need. Remember to jot down your application ID over here because the application will take you around 60 to 90 minutes to complete. You may log off in the middle and you will need that ID to retrieve your older information the next time you log in. After you complete the DS160, the website will generate a confirmation letter to your email. Make sure to save that document for later purpose. So we are going to the third stage which is scheduling an interview. Just head over to ustravel.com slash my uh, put the link down in the description box as well then create an account if you don't have one but for my case i have created an account before so i will just log in and after you have logged into your account just click on the new application then you can continue to fill out the information as well but remember this link is not applicable to you if your location of application is not in malaysia in that case you will need to search for other suitable link to schedule your interview anyway back to the website it will generate a viewer code and a reference one ID, you will need to use both of them to pay for the visa fee via John Pay. Different classes of visa will require different amount of fee. 
after you make the transaction make sure to screenshot down your receipt of your John pay payment and after you are done the website will generate an appointment confirmation letter to your email again be sure to save that down also for later purpose okay now we have come to the final stage the interview this is the biggest day of your life this is the day that decide whether you are legally allowed to start your life in the united states definitely you will need to bring some documents to into the interview or put them into the box over here what do we need to wear in the interview itself actually there's no specific dress code written on the document or around the u.s embassy building but a t-shirt with long pants and cover shoes will be good enough any of the smart casual or office attire is also suitable I would recommend you to just take a grab car over there or ask your family members to drop you off around the building because you are not allowed to drive into the US embassy building itself and the nearest parking lot is like few hundred meters away and once you reach the building you will need to queue up in front of the security booth and in front of the security booth you will turn over your IC and all of your electrical devices because you are not allowed to bring any of the electrical devices into the building so after after you turn over everything, you will pass the security booth and all the way to the main building where your interview happens. Inside that main building, you will go from counter to counter to submit your visa photo for some biometric scan and interview blah blah blah. I won't go through the exact flow because the staff over there do a very good job on guiding you along the way. They are really friendly and if you are confused, just approach any of them and they will be very happy to help you. The interview itself is actually very quick. It's like within 3 minutes. Most of the time is spent on this queuing and waiting process. And during the interview, they will ask you some common questions like why do you want to go to the US, your current position, and how long is your trip to the US. After the interview, they will tell you on the spot whether your visa is approved or not. You will need to leave your passport to them because they will place the visa sticker in your passport and that takes a few days. You will get to choose whether you want the passport will be delivered to your house or you want to go over to the embassy building and collect them by yourself. And then you can exit from the main building all the way to the security booth, take your IC, take your stuff and you are free to go. One thing to take note is that during the interview day, do not ever, ever take any photo or video around the building. The US Embassy actually made a very clear signboard on the wall of the security booth that you are not allowed to take any photo or video around the building. And it actually happened to me that after I get out of the building, I saw a pretty nice tree and decided to take a photo of it. Actually, I did not snap the building, but just the tree itself. But because the anger of me taking the photo, it seems like I'm taking a photo of the building. So one of the CCTV caught me doing that and the security guard had to approached me and asked to check my phone. Then I had to unlock my phone, show him my gallery and my recent WhatsApp chat to prove that I'm not sharing any information about the US Embassy building to anyone. And that is completely my fault to be honest because you are not supposed to take any photo or video around the US Embassy building even if the object is not the building itself. So after the building, just take your stuff and leave as soon as possible. The security over there really takes it very seriously, so just don't mess with them. Oh yeah, and one more bonus tip during the application is, after you pay the fee and make an appointment for the interview, and if your information in DS-160 becomes not relevant anymore, for example, you move to a new address or whatever, you don't have to pay the fee again and make another appointment. Just open a new DS-160 form, get a new application, ID, head over to the interview website, choose update profile, replace the old application ID with the new one. And that's it. Okay, that's it for the video and I hope you all the best for your visa application. If you find this video useful to you, please have to click the like button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.